This is Sam Vaughn for Sam Sports Report. Good afternoon. Here we start the interview. Amy has a job problem. Says what she can do to prevent it. What things do you have to avoid to make your job feel better? Sometimes chocolate, but not... I can eat chocolate sometimes. Walking too fast. You have no idea. Who does that? What? Who does that? Walking too fast. My boyfriend. Yeah, he does that? Yeah. One thing you have to do every day. Here we have some tef- here we have some technical difficulties and listen to our comedy about it. To make yourself fe- feel good. What just happened? Repeat what you just said. Amy says here she loves being with dogs. I be with dogs. Got it. What do you enjoy about being with dogs? <laughs> Answer the question. Uh, they make me my stress feel better. What? I did. No, I. I okay, you froze up. Something's wrong with it. Yeah, you lost signal. Hold on. Subject. Can you hear me? Yeah. It froze for a minute. Just relax. We talk about gratitude here and one kind thing Amy can do for herself. If you could practice grat- gratitude and tell yourself one positive thing about yourself, what would that be today? Uh, I don't know. It's not an answer. I'm thinking um, that I'm a good artist. Okay. Well, I appreciate you joining me, and this will be used today well, for this podcast. Thank you. All Have right. a good afternoon. Bye. Here's how the head coaching works for the NFL this year. Teams may not hire a coach until after the AFC Divisional playoffs, which will end on which will end on January 21st. So on January 22nd, the teams can start hiring their head coaches by that day. Now we move on to the San Diego Chargers, who are looking to fill fill their spot. You would think with the Chargers would have to be one of the first teams to hire their head coaches. They've had a long time to look at it. They have had the second longest time to look at it. Let's go over the Los Angeles' coaches. Opinion. The, the Los Angeles' Chargers is confiding the talent roster as nearly everything a head coach could do need. Win plenty of football games, Brandon Saley has somehow managed to surround surrender this season, his three seasons home already gone in 2023. A collapse with a bolts moved him on from Brandon Saley. Now on to more in a 56 to something loss. I think it was 20, something like that. Now more, this is according to Fox Sports, the Chargers job is the third best job on head coaching jobs. Okay, we've got seven coaches. I'm going to go through them and give you my opinions on that as later on the show. First, we'll go through seven through one. We'll start with seven. Matt Campbell, head coach at Iowa State, is seven for likely hired hired at uh, San Diego. Now we move on to that. Six is Riley Lincoln Riley, head coach of USC. Five is Michael McDonald, D.C. Ravens. Four is Bob Solick, Texans offensive coordinator. Three is Ben Johnson, Lions offensive coordinator. Number two, Eric Bieniemy, O.C., former Chiefs offensive coordinator, and now was the commander's offensive coordinator this past season. But you expect a vamp of coaches as you expect a much a lot of coaches being fired as Ron Rivera will probably be without a job so expect a cycling of those coaches leaving from Washington. Number one, Bill Belichick who will likely leave New England and we'll see what that happens with that. Although it's been a rumor that's gone on for a while. My number one would be Ben Johnson of the Lions made improvements why he may be my first because the reason is that Eric Bandemi, there's reasons that he has not been hired 
Bill Belichick has passed his time, I'm afraid, and that's why he wouldn't be my candidate. He punts too much on fourth and one and doesn't do what other teams do. Andy Reid does the same sometimes, but he is Patrick Mahomes, except. And he either will have... Justin Herbert, or somebody else from the NFL draft. Eric Bieniemy, I would like to see him come back to KC for a couple of reasons. One, to show Chiefs fans that they, he can't make him catch the ball. I'm not so convinced that he can do that. But I also think he's a qualified candidate to be a head coach, and I've wondered why for a long time. Has he not been a head coach? Does he not have the link, leading ability? If he doesn't, then I wouldn't hire him either. Lincoln Riley has done... A hell of a job with quarterbacks at OU and USC. USC, he had quarterback of Caleb Williams. His quarterbacks at Oklahoma were Kyle Murray, Baker Mayfield, and Jalen Hurts, which will all make their way to the NFL. Caleb Williams this year also could possibly be a first pick in the NFL draft, which Baker Mayfield was as well. Now, number four, Beaver for View talked about Bill Belichick referred to paragraph Two behind this is the main topic. He's good with Brady. I'm afraid he's not good with Brady without. Matt Campbell, Iowa State. He deserves a chance in the NFL, maybe, but he's never had the quarterback that could lead his team. That's as simple as that. We're not going to go into the coaches I've already wrote. You can read this site for more information. My near, real number one for all teams will be Jim Harbaugh. I think he's a candidate for out all of the jobs. He has a lot of talk about him going to San Diego. He had Colin Kaepernick and Alex Smith in the in his NFL career. 49ers, 49ers NFC Championship and, all, and for Kyle, Alex Smith and also included Colin Kaepernick to the Super Bowl. Smith was a better career quarterback, but some years uh, Colin Kaepernick was a lot better. And a lot of owners have a spoiled at towards him for not standing in the national anthem. Harbaugh is a candidate that happens to be my number one on most jobs. Jim Harbaugh could be coaching his final game in Michigan Monday night in the national championship game against Washington. Per Jeremy Fowler has the Chargers that have possibly hiring Jim Harbaugh. Harbaugh is not making a secret that he is very open to returning it to the NFL. He has faltered several times in recent years but not made a deal to come together. Harbaugh spent 11 years of head coaching in California, his first job at the University of San Diego before he moved on to Stanford. Then he followed it up with a four-year stint in NFL with the San Francisco 49ers, 2011-2014. Per NFL workouts, Ian Rappaport has a 10-year, $125 million contract offered to stay on the table for Michigan. Includes a clause that preventing him from entertaining. Let's talk about coaching searches uh, writ large. Um, how many, there's three open now. What, what do you think the number is going to be? What's your best guess? Crystal ball it for me. I've said all along, I've said seven to ten. And I still believe wow. that to be the case. Wow. Seven oh, to Rich, ten. Rich, let yeah. me explain this to you. Yes. <laughs> the, the NFL has averaged on, yes. go back to the, the start of the, uh, the century, yes. 6.8 head coaching changes per year. 6.8. We got five last year. It almost never happens that you get a low number below the median average in back to back years. Could it happen? It could. But if you go back and look, you almost always get 12 to 13 to 14 in a two year stretch. Mm -hmm. I'm playing the percentages and odds, and I could probably match it up as well, but we'll get, I believe, at a minimum seven. Seven. Okay. So and I think yes. I think probably more. 